Throughout this video, we're looking at how to find the nth term of a linear sequence. The nth term just stands for any term in a sequence. So you can see here we have two examples. And if I look at the example here on the left, just before we started, you have what are known as terms. So the six is the first term, the eight is the second term, or T2 as we call them, and T3, T4, T5, term six. And t term n just stands for some random term in that list of infinite numbers. The dots meaning it goes on and on and on forever. So that's just giving you a bit of background as to what the TN stands for. It's term N or any random term. A linear sequence is a sequence that goes up in a common first difference. So we have a separate video for what's known as quadratic sequences, where they go up in a second difference. We have a formula on page 22 in our formula tables, and I have it written there. It's TN is equal to A plus N minus one multiplied by D. Now, the A, just a couple of little things to look out for here. The A basically stands for the first term in the sequence. So you can see here in my first example, the six would be the A, that first term. The N is going to be remaining in your formula, so don't change the N. And the D will stand for the difference, the difference between each term. So there's a couple of things you have to find before we can fill in our formula, and that is the A and the D. So let's see how we get on. First thing I'm going to do here is with my first example. My first example, the list of numbers are 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So you can see here straight off that the difference there, or the first difference, what it's going up or down in, and it's going up in a positive 2. So I always just put that plus or a minus to say whether it's going up or down. So my first difference is positive two. So I'm just gonna write down, my D in this case is going to be positive two. So that's the first thing I found. Next thing I want to do is write down my A, and my A is my first term, and my first term in this particular sequence is six. So that's the two pieces of information found. I'm now gonna take my formula. My formula for my log tables is TN, is equal to a plus n minus one times d. And I'm gonna fill in my formula, so that's giving me tn. Again, that's just the name of the expression that we're trying to find here, term n. My a is six, so sub in my six, plus my n minus one is going to stay the same. It stays as n minus one. And I'm going to multiply that by two. Now, we commonly put the two in front of the brackets, but unfortunately our log tables has the D at the back. So I need to multiply from the rear of this bracket. So I draw my arrows in to denote multiplication. So I'm multiplying the N and the minus one by two. So my formula now is going to give me TN is equal to six plus N multiplied by two is giving me two N and two multiplied by minus one is giving me negative two. And then I'm just going to group uh, like terms. So I have a, the constants are six take away two, which is four. So TN is equal to four plus two N. Or we commonly put the uh, letters first. So two N plus four, but they're the same thing. And that's my answer. TN is equal to two N plus four. Now, what I would always do at this stage is just check your uh, formula and see, does it work? So plug in one of the, um, the terms in your list. So I'm just gonna check, uh, let's say term five. So what happens when I put five in for N, if I test it? So I'm gonna substitute five in for N and I get two fives are 10 um, plus four is equal to 14. And if I come up to my original sequence, you can see here that term one, two, three, four, five is 14. So I basically just checked, um, does my formula actually work? And it does. So coming over to example two, um, we're gonna continue doing them the same way. So we have our sequence that you can see is actually going down in this case. So it's 20, 15, 10, five, zero, minus five, minus 10, and so on and so on. So first thing I'm going to do here, once again, is get my common difference. Now my common difference is going down 
five each this each time so i'm putting a minus five here my d my difference so let's just write down what i know is minus five my a is my first term which is 20 and that is everything that i can take from that list of numbers i'm now going to fill that in to my formula from my log tables which is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d and i'm filling in my formula and i get my a which is 20 and it's adding on n minus 1 times my d now my d is minus 5. Uh, what i'm going to do there though is i'm going to put that minus 5 in a bracket because um, I don't want to subtract the 5. I want to make sure that I'm multiplying. So you can put that into a bracket. If you don't put it in bracket, it's fine. Um, but it just makes a little bit more sense uh, for watching. And then I'm multiplying that minus 5 back into that bracket. So I'm multiplying it by the n. And I'm also multiplying it by the minus 1. So that's giving me term n, tn, is equal to 20. Minus 5 multiplied by n is now giving me 4. 5n with a minus so negative 5n and minus 5 multiplied by minus 1 minus by minus gives me a plus 5 1 multiplied by 5 is 5 and now i group the common terms so my 20 and the 5 and that's giving me tn is equal to 25 minus 5n or again we put the n's at the start minus 5n plus 25 and that's our expression for the nth term on this particular linear sequence finally again i check my answer i'm just going to pick a term in my list so i'm going to test maybe term three so i'm going to go term three is equal to minus five bracket three for term three plus 25 now we know our answer is going to be 10 10 is the third term in that list so we're aiming to get to 10 here, so hopefully we do. And what do we get? Minus 5 by 3 is minus 15, plus the 25, and minus 5 plus 15, or sorry, minus 15 plus 25 is positive 10. And that is our term in the sequence. So there's two examples of using the formula from our log tables on page 22. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.